Uvisha, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, we are from Dream About Sports and it's nice meeting you today. It's nice to meet you too. Uh, could you please tell us about yourself, your background, your, f your family, your place, your okay, schooling? Uh, I'm actually from Bangalore. I just moved to this academy in the six months back. My dad's into business, my mom's a housewife. My sister's also, my sister works with my dad. Uh, how did you get started in badminton? I started playing badminton at the age of five, but not very seriously. I, first, I was a state swimmer back then. Once I, were, once I was like eight or nine, my coach told me to pick something, so I chose badminton over swimming. So, why badminton over swimming? Because uh, swimming's very seasonal, badminton's indoor, and playing badminton's more fun than swimming. Ah, You're always in water. That's superb. Right now, you, you've entered seniors. How, how is this leap for you, like from juniors to seniors? Uh, it's okay. It's not that big because uh, we, we, being as juniors, used to play senior tournaments as well, but it's not a, such a big leap as yet. Oh, that's nice. It'd be a big leap as if we've achieved something as right, right now in at, at what point did you actually think that you can actually represent India? Uh, it was my dream once I got into my state team when I was 11 that uh, someday I hope I get to play in the junior Indian team and uh, by the time I was third, by the time I was third, 14 I was in the team. Superb. Uh, what would be your biggest accomplishment in your sport till date? Till date is uh, uh, in 2010 that was the first national title I won in mix and uh, the Exactly after the national title, we went to Singapore and uh, me and my partner Rudvika, we won silver in the Singapore leading tournament. Superb. And what would be the ultimate one in your sport? The ultimate, I mean, as usual, every sportsman's dream is to play in Olympic. Wow. Can you tell us about your coach? I started training under a coach called B.N. Sudhakar. I was training under Sudhakar for nine years, almost nine years. Then after that, at some point of time, I realized that Sudhakas is now going to like help me out in senior, so I moved here. Cool. Uh, can you tell us more about your parents and, and their role in changing you as a badminton player? Mm, my mom is my biggest. My mom is everything for me. My mom accom accompanies me for every tournament. Whereas even my dad's there, but dad's not majorly into badminton. So my mom's, mom's my mom and sister make sure like. They accompany me for all my tournaments, at least most of them. How, how would they react uh, and I mean, tell you how to play badminton about your winnings and losings? What do they tell Basically, you? Basically, my mom doesn't, I mean, since my mom travels with me for everything, mom really doesn't say anything, but it's just that she says things if I made a fool of myself. Okay. Otherwise, basically, it's nothing. So, like, you go do your thing, you come back. What happens is happen. Yeah, that's nice. And what's your daily routine? My daily routine starts at 8 in the morning. Okay. And we're done by four, four by four thirty-five in the evening. How do you balance academics and sport? It's very difficult, but we try. I mean, I try. We try to study in between our sessions, because uh, okay. we get permission to go home to write our exams. So probably that time we'll just study a day before. Oh, superb. And your opinion on IBL? My opinion on IBL. Nothing quite fun to watch. I wasn't okay. in it, so but it was quite fun to watch. I hope it happens again. Wow. Uh, how do you set your goals and what would be your short term and long term for now? Uh, I really don't set my goals. Okay. I'm a very weird player. I just take it by the tournament. I don't have targets, I don't have goals, I do not dream big. It's just how my day goes. Wow, superb. And how do you celebrate your victories? I celebrate a lot. I love to celebrate. Yeah. It depends on what tournaments I want to celebrate. Okay, if you've won a biggest, I mean, one big tournament, when what I won, uh, When I won three national titles continuously, uh, we had like a huge party in Bangalore. Like my parents organized a big party where all my friends came. So, we, so we basically in our family celebrations everything. Ah, super. Uh, what do you eat before a match, and uh, how important is to have good fitness to get into a uh, match? Look at my size. Everyone think I'm not really fit, but. Somewhat I am fit, but uh, yeah, eating before a match is quite important, which I've learned all these years. Because I never used to eat before a match, I never used to eat after a match. But after once I got into this league, I realized that you should have should eat something at least. Thank you.
and as you know players would have ups and downs and where do you draw the inspirations from yeah everybody has an up and down but it's just that how how you recover from your fall is all that matters uh, and who's your favorite superman sports player my favorite sports player is ashwini ponappa wow so she's a good doubles player yeah yeah did you have any injuries in your career yeah i've had a lot a lot of injuries how did you deal with them i don't know basically touch wood i haven't had major injuries but i've had three or four injuries but uh, i've got it checked in the initial stages itself but yeah so i i dealt with it quite quickly so yeah so this is a interesting question uh, what what would you recommend for the people living in small places how should they pursue their dream of becoming a sports person i think if they really want to become something i think they should just try doing it and eventually somebody or the other will come up and say that okay fine i will help you out but don't give up just try as much as you can so can you just uh, give us a message so that we'll just pass it on to the others players or parents no yeah, yeah uh, parents please support your kids whether you like your kid playing the sport or not because by the end of the day they doing something they love the most don't tell them what to do and what not to do you could tell them but if they love something what they doing i don't think you should stop them of support and we wish you all the best for all the future tournaments and hope you bring lots of rolls for the country thank you thank you thank very you. much